Hi, in this video I show you how to use MIDI devices with Pro Tools and what you do to get in sync. Before I show you the settings in Pro Tools and we record, I show you the connections from the different devices. For a connection to the computer we need a MIDI interface with MIDI connectors. In, th in this video I used the MIDI out from my audio interface to send data to the MIDI in from my Vero synthesizer. As MIDI keyboard I use a vSynth that sends his data through USB. Other than connections with MIDI cable you have to install the software that comes with the device so that your computer can recognize it. Then over an internet router I have connected my laptop with a LAN cable that exchanges data with my desktop computer. With a software like RTP MIDI that you have to install on both computers I can control the drum machine with the MIDI protocol. On the drum machine that should run as slave, I switch to sync to internal because Pro Tools is the master for tempo and start and stop. Last, I use a small MIDI controller over USB. With this, I control the fader and the transport section from Pro Tools. Let's go into Pro Tools 9. I have now already set the input, the tempo, beat and grid models in bars and beats. The count off I set to two bars because that gives the system a little bit more time to send MIDI data. To set the MIDI controller we go to menu, setup, peripherals, MIDI controllers. Here we choose the device at input and output. Now we go to MIDI, MIDI input devices. Here you switch on the devices that sends MIDI information to Pro Tools. Now we have to go to the MIDI B clock. Here you have to switch on the devices that receives MIDI B clock information from Pro Tools. Enable MIDI B clock and the device you choose. Here I choose my drum machine. Now we make a MIDI track. On input I choose the MIDI keyboard channel 1 and on output my MIDI port same channel. And if your MIDI keyboard has internal sounds but you can't hear anything it mostly is the switch local off that you have to activate. Or sometimes you have the volume to zero and search on other places. So let's record the MIDI data from the keyboard. For this I make a click track, switch on the metronome, activate on the MIDI channel record, set the counter to zero, arm record and starting with play. With a right click to the region we go to open in MIDI editor. Here now you can edit the notes, shorten, delete, move or whatever.
You also can import MIDI data or export MIDI data. Now you can see that the notes are a bit off. We can correct this with Quantize. For this we choose in the menu Event, Event Operations, Quantize. Now, beside different options, we can adjust the Quantize Grid. Execute with Apply and Done. Now let's record the audio signal from the synthesizer that will be controlled from the MIDI data we just made. Now if you zoom to a transient, you can see that the audio signal is a bit delayed. To correct that latency, we go to the slip models, mark the region to the start of the bar and switch the counter to samples. Now you have an approximate latency number. Now set back the counter to bars and go to Setup, Preferences, MIDI. There, at Global Playback MIDI Offset, we enter the number that we just got from the measuring as minus number. This value for the MIDI B-Clock Offset you have to set on all your devices that receives MIDI B-Clock. Because that value is different from your hardware, you have to repeat this for a few times and check it twice to get a good result. Last, I show you how to use a plugin to record and control with MIDI. You have to make an instrument track, an audio track, and a MIDI track. On the instrument track, at the insert, I choose for instrument the mini grant. Here, I route the output with the sense to bus 7-8 that I choose on the audio track as input. On the MIDI track, I choose my VSynth keyboard for the input and the MIDI grant for the output. Of course you can use the MIDI data we just recorded for playing the piano. So, we are at the end of the video now. MIDI has a lot of more details and also Pro Tools has a lot of more functions. But I think everything is said that men and women can produce good music. Me myself can't work without it. It is very flexible. But the thinking sometimes can drive you mad. Thanks for watching and see you.